It's okay. It's okay. Overnight, the Italian okay. Coast Guard rescued about 250 migrants, including a newborn baby from a boat. Bad weather and high seas complicated the more than 16-hour rescue. They come from places like Iran and North Africa, escaping poverty, slavery, and conflict. In northern France, hundreds of migrants are huddled in makeshift camps, cold and hungry, but determined to cross the English Channel, despite the recent capsizing that left 27 dead. No fear. No fear. Water. If we die, <laughs> sorry I say that, but we already die. Nobody accepts us anywhere. French authorities routinely dismantle these camps. Coastlines are heavily patrolled, but the migrants are willing to wait. The police is right now everywhere. Uh, they don't let us go to uh, in the water. They are really scared uh, in the beach right now. Uh, but most of them, they wait for the the situation go normal. Leaders from several European nations met Sunday to try to fix the crisis. Britain was notably absent. The French interior minister canceled the UK's invitation after harsh words were exchanged between leaders of the two countries. <laughs> Migrant crossings in the Mediterranean and Atlantic seas have more than tripled this year after European borders reopened as COVID-19 cases decreased. <laughs> But the weather is getting colder and survival is becoming more difficult for those seeking a better life. Cost and colds last longer and longer. They also then become worse, so there's more chance of getting uh, worse diseases such as pneumonia. Pope Francis made an impassioned appeal Sunday to European nations to respect the migrants' humanity. You are in our hearts. While a vigil was held on Folkestone Beach in England to honor those who lost their lives in the English Channel. Jennifer Johnson, Global News.